Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMainNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best 60% keyboards currently out there today. Now I've narrowed this list down from my top 12 to 15 to my absolute favorite top 5 so no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip any fluff and just dive right into my recommendations. And if you wanna confirm what they are, do go to the description down below there and check out my recommendations as well as the best price. So the first one on my list is gonna go to my personal favorite, and this is the SteelSeries Apex Pro Mini Wireless. Um, it's a compact version of the popular SteelSeries Apex Pro, and like it's full-size big brother this keyboard also has an adjustable pre-travel distance feature which means you can customize the sensitivity of your key press uh, so whether you want a nearly instant 0.2 mil actuation point for competitive gaming or a longer pre-travel of like 3.8 for general typing you can fine tune your preferences for each key making this very versatile and great for work or play. The keyboard also connects using a USB receiver or Bluetooth so you don't have to worry about cable management. Its battery life however is a bit on the lower end which is normal considering it has fully customizable RGB backlighting and the battery lasts between say 30 to 40 hours depending on usage. So if you're concerned though about battery life, there's a wired version of this keyboard as well, the SteelSeries Apex Pro Mini. And the wired version offers the same high-end performance and features and is actually a little bit cheaper as well. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best, say upper mid-range 60% keyboard and this is the Razer Huntsman Mini Analog. So if you're looking up Price-wise, mid-range, uh, this is my favorite. This keyboard has recently gone on sale as well, um, so you might get it cheaper. Uh, I would definitely check the link in the description there to get the best pricing. But still, definitely a great time to pick this one up. Uh, this keyboard also has adjustable pre-travel distance feature. However, its switches use optical technology, which means laser beams, and they aren't as consistent or accurate as magnetic switches, which you would get on the Steel Series. Uh, plus, the range isn't as wide as the lowest and most sensitive setting. Uh, you can set it is actually only uh, 1.5 millimeters. It performs pretty similarly low though to the Steel Series overall with equally low latency and excellent RGB backlighting. However, the Razer also has a few more interesting features that the Steel Series lacks. For example, uh, the analog mode. When enabled, the switches register how far down you've pressed a key to respond in game, kind of like a gamepad controller. And this feature is beneficial if you're a fan of racing games or flight sims, as it gives you a much finer movement control than you'd usually get with your average keyboard. It's also worth noting that this is a wired only unit, unlike the um, Steel Series, so you will have to deal with some cable management. However, the cable is a detachable USB A to USB C cable, so if you find it too stiff or bulky, you can easily change it out. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best mid-range price 60% keyboard and this is the Corsair K65. So while the last two offer more in-depth customization, the Corsair K65 is a solid mid-range unit focused on raw gaming performance. Instead of non-standard switches with adjustable pre-travel distances, the Corsair comes with a typical Cherry MX switches. Uh, and you can get your choice of switch type, including Cherry MX speeds, a classic gaming switch with a feather light actuation force and a short pre-travel distance for a sensitive and smooth key press. Although be aware that these switches can make you more prone to making more mistakes while typing, as even light touches register keystrokes. However, the high quality PBT keycaps have a bit of texture to them, so they're not slippery even during very competitive games. Uh, they also have very clear legends that allow the RGB lighting to shine through them, making them easy to read even in the dark. Overall, the gaming performance is solid uh, at this price point, with its higher than average maximum polling rate of 8,000 Hz and split millisecond latency for high, highly responsive in-game uh, experience. It's also compatible with the Corsair IQ software, meaning you can sync up your lighting effects with other Corsair products like your mouse or other components. 
The next one on my list, we're gonna go to my favorite budget option. And this is the Obins Lab and Pro 2. So if you're looking for a solid budget option, I definitely recommend this one. So when you use this keyboard connected with its cable, it has very low latency that's on par with other gaming uh, keyboards like the Corsair K65. However, you can also connect it wirelessly and pair up to four Bluetooth devices if you'd rather use it for work or just general typing. However, the latency over Bluetooth is much higher, so it isn't recommended for faster paced or competitive gaming. It also comes in a variety of switch types from major brands like uh, Kale, Gatron, and Cherry, making it easier to find a switch that suits your preference. It also comes with a few color keycaps to add a bit of personal flair to your keyboard. This board also has double shot PBT keycaps like the higher priced options on this list which is a nice touch for a budget keyboard. They feel really good on the fingertips and have a nice texture which is going to give you a good grip. So while most compact boards also like arrow keys, this keyboard also has a feature that you can enable uh, to make the right side modifier keys as arrow keys, if that's what you like. Now, the next one on my list, I'm gonna give you a second budget option, and this is going even cheaper. This is mega budget, uh, but a solid choice, and this is the Royal Kludge RK61. So, although with this one, the latency isn't nearly as low as even the Obens Lab and Pro 2, and its build quality is gonna be as high as any other on this list. Uh, this is still your best bet for a very cheap and compact keyboard. It's well suited, especially for casual gamers or if you're on the go and you're just looking for a smaller board to use at home or even in the office. Uh, surprisingly, for a cheap board, it has hot swappable print, a hot swappable printed circuit board, meaning you can swap out the stock switches with other mechanical switches of your choice to tailor you know, to your needs. It's a great choice if you're just getting into keyboards since it's a cheap way to test out what switches you'll like without spending a lot of money. It also comes in several variants that offer wireless connectivity options, different backlighting configurations, and also a range of sizes. So you can definitely find a version here for a low price and something that works for you no matter what it is you're looking for. All right, guys, so hopefully there's something on this list for you. I've broken it down into various um, pricing options. So if you're looking to spend a bit of money or you don't wanna spend that much at all, these are the best options in my opinion. Now, if you have any questions, drop them below. And if you found value in this video, it really helps out if you drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.